Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. It's time to do another video for my burger series, and this one just so happens to be my all-time most requested burger. I am going to be preparing the White Castle Slider, so let's get going. All right, White Castle, they're famous for their sliders, very small hamburger. The patties are square, extremely thin, and they're about two and a half inches across. Now, what I've done here in order to get my uh, square little patties is I have, this is a nonstick, it's parchment, like a pan liner, it's got foil on the other side. And I went ahead and just took a ruler and I made a one foot square, and I broke that up into three inch squares. I went with three inches because I'm allowing for a little shrinkage of the patties as they're cooking. The beef I'm using is 80-20 and it's 100% beef. Now when I researched this I looked at a lot of other clone recipes and one of the more popular recipes is actually mixing strained baby food and beef broth into the, into the beef. Now I looked at White Castle's website, they're claiming 100% pure ground beef. I actually emailed White Castle, told them what I'm planning on doing. They got back with me and told me, no, it's 100% ground beef. Nevertheless, I'm eating these, my family's eating these. I'm not putting baby food in it. I am sticking with 100% ground beef. If you want to add baby food, then go for it. What I'm going to do now is take my hands and I'm just going to press this into the square. All right, so I have the meat spread out onto the parchment here. I'm going to take another sheet of this pan liner. Again, it's parchment on one side. I'm going to lay this on top of the meat. Take a rolling pin, and I'm just going to start rolling this out nice and thin, and I want to try to get into as many of the corners as I can on this grid. All right, so we're done. As you can see, I've got this meat spread out very thin, and I was actually able to hit every grid. So with one and a quarter pounds of ground beef, I'm going to actually be able to make 16 patties, 16 sliders. I'm cooking nine today, guys. I'm not doing 16. Now, I went ahead and I, when I drew the grid, I made sure I had overrun with my line so I can line it up with my long knife here. And I'm just going to find those reference points. There it is. Just tear off that piece of meat. What I'm going to do is cut the square out now. There we go, 16 squares. What I'm going to do now is slide this parchment onto a cookie sheet. I'm gonna put this meat in the freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes. That's going to help me with the next step, which is poking those holes, those signature holes that the patties have in it to allow that steam to come back and help cook the patty. So again, 15 minutes, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so the meat is now out of the freezer, 15 minutes, and it's pretty firm. This is going to help us with the next process, which is cutting those holes. Remember, the White Castle sliders cook kind of on a bed of wet onions, and it steams through. That's how they cook. I was looking at some of the other recipes, the clone recipes, and what they were suggesting to use to cut these holes is a drinking straw. The first time I tried this, I used a straw and quickly realized it was a pain in the butt. Very labor intensive because you're actually having to cut, you know, through the meat. You know, you're cutting through those little strands of muscle and uh, fat. So what I ended up doing was I went to my local hobby store and I bought some 5 16 inch stainless tube. And this made my life very, very simple. What you do is just push it in and you can twist it Voila. Or you can, if the meat's pretty frozen, you can actually take a little mallet or a hammer and tap it through. But we're going to cut five holes. Very simple, very easy. So I'm going to continue doing this across all the patties. And after a few minutes of work, this is what you're going to end up with. Next step is going to be taking the meat, putting it back on that cookie sheet, getting it back in the freezer, and we want to make sure this is nice and frozen. Give it a good hour or so. It probably won't take an hour, but 
I'm going to give this a good hour. The nice thing is you can do this days in advance. So uh, let's move on to the next step. All right, now this next step, I think, is what defines the White Castle slider. Now, when you think of a White Castle slider, you think of little patties being steamed on a bed of onions. Actually, what White Castle's using are chopped, dehydrated onions that they're rehydrating, and that's what they're cooking them on. So I have here one and a half cups of chopped, dehydrated onions and three cups of hot water. So we're going, you know, like a two to one ratio here. And I'm just going to let these onions rehydrate. Now we're going to be ready to cook in about 15 or 20 minutes. So before we get out to the grill, I want to show you the next important component of these burgers, and that's the little bun. All right, now the buns. I was absolutely pulling my hair out trying to figure out the buns on these little sliders. Some of the other clone recipes were using like the bake and serve rolls. Some were cutting up hot dog buns into thirds. I tried the rolls. I mean, they were good, but they just did not taste like a hamburger bun. They tasted like a little burger on a, on a, on a dinner roll. So I was actually preparing to bake my own White Castle buns, and there were some recipes out there. And then I stumbled across these little beauties. These mini buns, they're made by Sara Lee. They have the same size, the same basic shape, the same texture. And I have to tell you, they taste like the White Castle buns. So commercially, I don't think you're going to get any closer than these Sara Lee buns. Anyway, guys, we are ready to cook these burgers. Let's get out to the grill. All right, guys, so I have the Weber here all heated up. Now, I just have coals on this side and this side, and I'm letting that nice radiant heat kind of heat this uh, skillet up. It's a griddle. And you know what? If you're cooking these, you can do them on your stovetop. You can use an electric griddle. You do not have to use, you know, a grill like I am doing. I'm doing this just because this is what I enjoy doing. We put those rehydrated onions on the griddle. It's already smelling insane. This is just like, a, you know, like a scraper or a pastry cutter. Put those patties on. You guys can see them all here. Okay, now I have here just it's some salt and pepper mixed up. I'm gonna season these patties. Okay, let's get those buns on. So we're going bottom bun first, top bun, bottom bun, top bun, but kind of a little bit leaning on the other one there. Bottom bun, top bun, bottom bun, top bun, bottom bun, top bun. I guess we did it by now, right? Shut up, dog. All right, so I'm um, thinking probably between five to seven minutes, these guys will be done. See you in a bit. All right, guys, and we are about, oh, I'm saying six minutes or so into these. Check it out, a slider. All right, let's uh, get these things into the house and we'll get them plated up. All right, guys, here they are. I gotta tell you, smelling like a white castle. Now, you can eat these sliders just how they come off the grill with just the onions on there, or you can add cheese. Um, what I'm gonna do, is add a pickle, squeeze some mustard on here, because that's what I'm craving, guys. All right, let's give this a shot. Without bragging, I want to say I nailed this one. Anyway, thank you for the suggestions. This was a fun cook. Seems kind of complicated, but I think once you get the system down, 
you can mass produce these things, which would be great for a party, especially like a kid's party. Anyway, thank you. Keep those suggestions coming in, guys. i got a few more in the queue that i got to get going on. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.